you are now about to witness the awesome crushing of mind of you with Jesus. Welcome, my friends, to a late late show, but that one that never ends. This is Vertigan, a three. Oh, what? Something like that. I literally just wrote it 30 seconds ago, and the numbers are going with numbers. Nah, you gotta sleep it. You gotta sleep it down, but see. Um, and. Now she's here for the bed. But she just tipped me the night, so she knows what I'm doing. So it's alright. It's an hour. It's an hour. I'm now an hour. Anyway, it's a 3 3 or 4. I'm resuming since it went at 9 30 this morning. You had time to read the substack. But for you, yeah, uh, you, had, you had time to read the substack. So that should prepare you for the what we're about to talk about. There were fights this weekend. Insert universal sign of jerking off. We'll get to all that later, but first, Bob Riley is gonna sing us in like he has every single week since 2007. Intro, all of nothing, stigmata, all of it just still available from Revelation Records in Huntington Beach, California. You can see your dead at night club, you can follow the hammer, and run your man for coming to town. The well, you can open up some kind of a shot. I'm taking a real good look at you. I'm taking a real good look at your face. So be it payback and full always. Nothing. All right, my friend. Line up, Ranger. Let me let me look. I, I I feel sort of embarrassed that 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 my memory is shot to the extent that I do not remember. Uh, so let's just go straight to it. This is indeed version 304. So I got it right. I was actually right. So I'm going to show you a few things. This has been a this has been a world class week, as some of you may know. Despite the uh, absence of uh, of a show, there was a presence of a show from Chicago last week. Uh, some of you showed up. Some uh, some of the coterie of listeners, viewers showed up. We had uh, uh, JW in Chicago. It was great. He walked up to the table that they had set up for me in the back of Reckless Records, and uh, he was intercepted by my publisher, uh, who was mistaken for my wife at one point, and hilarious hijinks ensued. Um, and she's like, oh, so you're a fan of the band? He's like, uh, no. He says, oh, uh, did you... He came for the book because you know the right. No. And she's like, she's not one. She's a Midwesterner, but not one to, to mince words. She's like, why are you here? <laughs> I mean, like, I, I'm hearing this on the periphery. He's like, because of the show. And she goes, show? I was like, what log did you fall off of? Come on. From Knuckle Up to the Eugene S. Robinson Show Stomper. There's been oodles and oodles of shows. You should remember this. Yeah. And he came. And who was it? Mr. JW. Of course, he's not on the show today. Too much, too a lit, a little too much is a little too much. Maybe <laughs> I think he bought the book, so he's like, "Yeah, the show." And now he's got a copy of the book. He's like, "Yeah, hey, you know, fuck this guy, fuck this guy. I got shit to do. It's nine o'clock in Chicago. I got to get to bed." And then also, Mister Edge showed up. Uh, e and J showed up with his lovely wife Anna, and uh, they drove an hour and a half to get to the show. Bought a bunch of merch. They bought the last puzzle next to last puzzle box, or maybe the last one. They, they bought the last one, and there was a, a prize connected to it if they got it finished in time. It's a 500-piece puzzle that has whole sections of, like, blackness and grayness, super hard to uh, 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 figure out. 
three, and these people, everybody else was involved, but the three people who, the one guy came uh, 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 Saturday at the uh, record store, and he was hot, fired up. Let's just call him T.E., because I don't know. I don't know that he's a fan of the show. Trevor, but he doesn't, I don't know that he wants his shit all blasted all over there. So Trevor bought one, and he was like, my wife is a, is a does thousand be thus she kills it she's got i said well maybe you get the first prize dark horse candidate that's why you could never bet was the guy who made the actual wooden boxes which was a complete financial catastrophe for me incidentally you know incidentally the airline losing the books i was going to put in made me have to charge a lower price for it because it didn't get the special eight left in the world thing they also lost Three of the fucking boxes. So I ended only up doing seven boxes. I just got reamed all around. I didn't make any money on that. But you don't care about that. What do you care about that? You're listening. If you're here now, it's because you're listening to the free version. And that tells me all I need to know. That's fine. Yeah. I'm puzzled about it. Yeah. So, uh, so, um, the, so the guy who made the boxes goes, listen, I don't know. This is kind of a pain in the ass. But I know. Could you send me a puzzle? I just want to have the puzzle. Sent to the puzzle. Little did you know, sleeper cell in Belgium. His wife is a, a puzzle master. She put it together. She won. The, so now I got to give this guy in Belgium a present. You don't know it, but I, I don't know unless you sit mailed something recently. But at this point, USPS is deciding, and that's for everybody. UPS, USPS, FedEx. If you're sending a package to Europe, you clearly are rich and fuck you. So I can't say at this point now, I'm told, dude, look, you didn't even know there was a present involved. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it next time I'm over there and you just have to find me, man. I'm not putting any more shit in the mail. It cost me $150 to send the dude the box. Uh, he paid some of it, you know, but I had, to, you know, I paid up to it. It was a financial wash. It doesn't make a difference. All the boxes are gone. My office is finally like looking like normal. I met uh, 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 Ian J, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. J W. Good time was had by all. I've met some of you before in New York too. It was good, like I said. Uh, and uh, Ian J even earned my undying love and affection because the standing order o- offer is: if you uh, if you listen to this show anywhere Oxbow's playing that you can get to, you're on the list. That's the deal. That's the way it works, and that's the way it will work. So. Uh, um, so, but he bought his own tickets. So that, 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 that is my point. So, uh, so this is where I was last week. Now you don't know this because I did the show prior to, but we played. And as the guy is driving me back to the hotel where it looks like I will get three hours of sleep or two and a half hours of sleep before I'm needed at the airport, the prospect of going to sleep for two and a half hours didn't fill me with, and I, I'm terrified of airplanes, so I'm not sleeping on the airplanes, and, and I'm too cheap to get anything other than a middle seat at this point. They figured out that people will will pay for for seats that are, you know, other than middle seats, so fuck that. I'm sitting in the middle seat, can't sleep. I got the Stephen King book called Revival that I read, like 360 pages. Stephen King, I love, underrated, underrated. It, just because he writes popular books, he's no James Patterson. He actually writes good, good books, right? You know, good, simple stories, not fancy writing, the whole deal. But it's like a horror book. You know, it's what you're known for. You could just make it a book. Okay, but not horror. I'm at page 260 and nothing remotely fucking horrifying has happened. It was like, it, it didn't get to horrifying until 320. And then I realized what it was. It's a Guy de Maupassant Rip off of the monkey's paw, a little more sophisticated. I don't want to say rip off. I like Stephen King. It sounds kind of, but this is what I was reading instead of sleeping. I couldn't sleep because I keep thinking about the doors popping off the plane. And then uh, I had great seat mates. See you next week. It's Sunday. Don't die. Don't die, Blondie. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die, Blondie. Don't die.